Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily inspirational chat about love and relationships primarily and other things as well. This is episode number 473. The topic today is love and respect. It goes both ways. And that may not be what you think, so let me get into this. Before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author. Let me show the mic's plugged in. There we go. Um, <laughs> best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And help strong, successful women find and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, um, which is coming out more and more in the world because it's needed. But, and I do these talks every day, just getting back into sequence again. I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart, hence being champion of the feminine. This is episode number 473. Yes, there's lots of them out there now. If you haven't watched my whole library, shame on you. <laughs> Kidding. And the topic today is um, love and respect. It goes both ways. And I want to explain what I mean directly, but also give you some clues and hints and indications. And also why I'm doing this topic, actually, because there's a much bigger picture happening. But I'll get to that in a second. Just hang on. I'm just sorting where to begin. I'm just feeling it filtering through. Um. <laughs> I'll play out there this way. Let me start this one. Okay, I was sitting with what was going to be most primary. What kept coming up was this. So, um, <laughs> okay, this is what's come up. So I'm going to start with this. Do you respect yourself in the morning? That's the question. I want to sit with you for a second because the temptation is to think about well, it's about respecting them. But I'm playing a different game on this one which is do you respect yourself in the morning? In fact, do you respect yourself in your dating choices? Do you respect yourself when you're swiping right on Tinder? Or are you so busy looking out there for the perfect match or just for tonight's warm body, because there's a range, how much are you respecting yourself in your choices? It's something that I'm aware that a lot of people don't take into account. In fact, they make choices that if they really were looking after themselves and taking care of themselves and honoring who they were, they would say no right up front. They wouldn't jump into that at all. And yet, and yet, so many people who it would seem have a great deal of respect for themselves tend to make choices that are actually not in that alignment. They make self-depleting or self-deprecating self-disrespecting choices perhaps something like that and this for me is one of those um, topics that bears investigation I have seen enough people who I know respect and believe to know that they're in integrity and what they do and how they're what they're about in their lives who make some choices in their dating life that go against what I believe they're about sounds rather silly but the thing is if you look around people you know who maybe well let me say this do you want to go there? Hmm, let me think. There's been a lot of stuff in the news of late with media celebrities, um, political personalities, I'm using those very generic terms, where their dating choices, either cheating on their partners or just simply the choice to make a relationship, have been less than equal to where they stand in their business or appear to stand in their lives. And so it seems like what they're doing is making choices that are lower than they should be making. I'm going to get to the point in a moment about this because this is really something that makes sense to me in a lot of ways going on. And if this aligns to you, stay tuned because it may be, effective to, may be impactful for you and awakening to you as well. So if you are someone who has a position of, a position of authority or power in your life, be it business, be it social, be it spiritual, be it community-based, whatever that is, if you have a great deal of, of, of importance and respect to certain levels... Does that carry over into your relationship? Meaning that, do you choose your partnerships, or even your flings, for that matter, if that's how you play, at the same level of respect you have for everything, or same level of respect that you believe you're carrying the world? Because for a lot of these people, they're making choices below that level, and I have a strong suspicion of why, and I'm going to tell you about that in a second, because I want you to have a chance to think about this for a moment, because it might be something you're looking at and going, this is how I look at myself here, but when I'm over here, I don't look at myself that way, which is a bit messy. So I want to make sure that this... Um, questioning goes a little deeper inside and hopefully opens you up to some possibility because this is the thing for me this is the pet peeve of mine based on the fact no no I would say it. 
based on <laughs> there's something I want to say and I'm trying to be polite oh boy okay let's try it this way based on perception of how I see a lot of other people out there when I see the choice they make in relationships and other areas too but relationships is one I use as a, as a marker for this conversation they tend not to make choices that are honoring themselves and I gotta talk about why I've been putting it off but I need to keep get into it the va the values we put on on things in life on aspects of life and areas of life which could be areas like business um, social engagement, physical health, relationship. The value you put in each of those categories, for a lot of people it appears, appears to be very inconsistent. For example, I'm going to avoid relationship for a second just to give you the framework. There are people I know who have amazingly beautiful, clean, pristine cars that are always taken care of that are perfect and nice looking cars too, but they're obese. There are people I know who have um, that's, yeah, I'm going to make sure it's true before I say it, just to be clear. There are people I know who have a lot of leadership in spiritual community or in, in, in community in general, I know and have respect for, except that I know they have some bad habits like drug addiction or alcohol addiction. They get, you know, they're getting drunk all the time or they're getting drugged out. My point I'm trying to make about this is there's an inconsistency of, of respect. You respect yourself in one area but not in other areas. Now, when it comes to relationships, quite often, the choice you make in partnership is you may choose a relationship that, for example, is the thing. You may be a strong person in leadership in your business world or in the corporate world to have you do your work, but your relationship life, you're abused, perhaps. There's a reason for all this. I'm going to get to that in a second. My concern, though, is you may not be aware of it. So let me start with explaining what it is, and then I'm going to ask you very bluntly to look inside and see if this fits for you, because if it does, we need to talk. So, I've spoken at many times and many lengths about this lovely thing called um, programming, wiring, um, belief systems, uh, default automatic programming, subconscious mind, all that stuff. I'm just watching the thread. Yeah. So, as kids, yes, I'm going to do the I'm going to do the kid thing again. It's going to go there because it's where it comes from. As children, we are raised to believe and to respect ourselves in certain areas and not other areas based upon the input from other people, the big people around us, those adults known as parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, teachers, etc. So we may have a certain area where we, we are prized for some skill set we have. And so we, we take on respect for that and self-respect, which is the thing I was talking about. But other areas of our life, which is this side, I think, <laughs> just make sure where I'm on camera, is put down or demeaned or ignored or suppressed so we don't have a lot of respect for that area so we have this imbalance where one area is highly respected because we've been told to respect it or, in, or um, taught to respect it and on the other side we've got areas of life which we have no respect for because we were never informed it's worth respecting that so for some people they're told that to have property you got to respect property like cars houses whatever it is but when it comes to their bodies, they were taught not to, or they, was just, they, they never were shown how to, so they ignore it. Same thing is true in relationships. We may be taught that our um, respect for our physical health might be high, but respect for a partner is low. Or maybe we have to find partners that will abuse us because that's the belief we have wired in. One of the keys, or one of the indicators of this is if you're in a relationship with people where they respect you and you respect yourself, those two together, that's a win-win and that's a place you want to play at. If, however, you have, you're in relationships where you respect them and they don't respect you, or they respect you but you don't respect yourself, or some other combination of those where it's an imbalance, that's a very big, fat clue that there's something for you to do. There's some work to do. There's some healing to do. There's some transformation. There's some rewiring, as it were, reprogramming of those beliefs that don't work for you. Because the reality is, if you were, or if you are, a whole, healthy, in integrity, authentic, loving person, there should be respect everywhere around you. Simple enough. You love, you respect yourself. You'd be respected. It would all be. Um, 
imbalance. That's the word I'm looking for, imbalance. So if that's not the case, there's something to be worked on. Now, I met many people out there, just to be clear, and not people who watch my broadcast, I know, but people around the world who basically don't, um, aren't even aren't aware of this, don't care about this, and don't want to watch it, so they're not watching my videos. But you're watching it, so here's for you. You can raise your standards and you can change your paradigm about respect in all areas of life. And yes, in my coaching, I help my clients with that. It may be something you want to look into, it's up to you. But I want to make sure you take this to heart, that you learn that respect is something that's a two-way street. As I mentioned, respect is, is a two-way thing. It's about respecting your partner, but bigger than that is respecting yourself. That was the big, ta-da, <laughs> kind of disorder. But this is the thing, respect is something we forget about. I'm watching because I've got. I want to tell you about something, but I'm sure there's nothing before I get to that point. So let me just sit with that for a second. So, self-respect is a cornerstone to raise your vibration to be loved and be appreciated. Because the reality, like I said before, another principles like you can only be loved to the level you love yourself. Kind of the same thing with respect. Somebody can respect you, but only to the level you respect yourself. Because they may respect you more than you respect yourself, but you won't receive more respect from them than you give to yourself. Sounds weird. It may sound weird, but that's the way it is. Respect is a. Um, it, it, actually, going to say this about everything. Let's, let's be clear about this. Anything you receive from others only lands for you with value based upon the level you give to yourself. And it's one of the biggest secrets to the universe, by the way. It's like, shh, don't tell anybody. But this is the thing. For most of us, we don't realize this. And we keep looking for love out there, or health out there, or respect out there, or confidence out there, or appreciation out there. And it never fills us up because we don't live, love ourselves first. One of the biggest secrets of life. Yes, I'm giving you a secret of life. And it's not 42. Actually, that's the answer to life, not a secret. Hitchhiker's Guide, if you haven't seen it. Um, one of the secrets to life, <laughs> going way off tangent, is that we are autonomous beings that receive to the level we give ourselves. play with that one for a while it's a game changer it may just change your life because that's a framework of understanding that people are going what because they're wired to believe that everything comes from out there so they seek love out there they seek kindness out there they seek all these things outside and don't let it in because they don't know how to do it to themselves so if you want to get loved up by the people love yourself up you want to have more um, respect out in the world respect yourself now how you do that I have some tools and ideas for you. <laughs> but before I get to that, I want to just tell you a couple of things. So this is actually part of something else. I did a talk a couple of days ago, two days ago, three days ago, about boundaries. And what has come forward over the last few weeks, especially the last couple of days, talking with my coach, is it time to put together something special for you. And what I've put together, what I've now come up to, is, an, is 18 weeks worth, boy. I've come, basically put together a four-month group coaching um, programs, such a tough word. The group coaching package, group coaching environment. We're going to cover lots of topics like this. Love and boundaries. And this is another one, which is love and respect. So there's 18 different ones. And I may cover for more of those in the next few days. Um, I'm going to do a webinar next Wednesday. So it's a week from this Wednesday. Um, this Wednesday is Yom Kippur and I'll be celebrating with people. And yes, I'm Jewish, even though I'm spiritual, but I get a chance to celebrate because people are breaking fast that day. Anyway, same topic. So that's coming up soon. If you want to get the link, I'll put the link in the comments below, but basically it is, if I remember off the top of my head, if you want to sign up for that it's free webinar I'm putting together for the week after next, um, it's barryselby.com, which is my website, my name, barryselby.com forward slash L B H love boundaries healing webinar is where you can sign up. So L B H webinar is where you can sign up, um, which, and basically it's called, it, the webinar is called love boundaries and healing because this is going to be a big piece of that it's going to be a conversation where we're going to have with I'll be, le I'll be lecturing I'll be speaking for about a half an hour give or take and then taking Q&A for about another half an hour so it'll be a live interactive we can do it you can join me on the call it'll be a video call so you can be on video as well if you want um, a bit more I'll put more details together as we get closer if you want to sign up you'll get an email about all about this again if you go to barryselby.com forward slash L sorry I remember <laughs> LBH webinar all together in one word and sign up there now um a cornerstone of this work, as I've mentioned before, is self-love. And loving yourself is a piece that opens up the space to self-respect. It's a piece that opens up the space for self 
self-appreciation, self-regard, self-confidence, self-approval. It starts with self-love. And as a reminder, I do have a self-love pro- um, practice I offered on my website again, which is my name, barrysilver.com, forward slash self-love or one word. And finally, just another link I'm going to put out there, which is if you want to talk about this and get more help directly from me, you want to talk about one-on-one coaching, I invite you to sign up for a free complimentary chat. If you go to barryselby.com forward slash chat, you can sign up right there, put in, get on my calendar, sign up, and we can talk. All three of those links I'll put in the comments below. Um, and that's that. Oh, quick reminders. This is my Facebook Live. If you didn't see it here, you may see it on, on YouTube. So to, where to find the replays um, on Facebook, they go onto my business page. It'll be on my personal page too, but there's so much other stuff I post. But business page is primarily Facebook Live, so you can find them there, which is Barry Selby, the author on Facebook. I then put them onto YouTube, so it's easy to search for them, by the way, because YouTube, I found, is actually much, much easier to do a search for titles. But if you go to my channel, which is Barry Selby, I'm user, that's my username, and playlist is Messages from the Masculine. That's the same name, by the way, as my podcast on iTunes. We can also subscribe there. If you go to Messages from the Masculine podcast, you search for it, you can subscribe and download there. And um, that's where you, where you find me. So that, I think, is that. I appreciate you being me as always and appreciate any comments, questions you have. If you put any questions, comments after I finish the broadcast, I'll answer them in the comments as well. Um, I think that's it. Again, this one's another piece of the pie. And the more you understand how this works, the more you can have what you want. And starting with self-respect is a powerful place to be. With that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Oh, before I say that. If you haven't watched my broadcast before, this is a daily broadcast. Again, it's number 473 of Messages for the Masculine to inspire your feminine heart. This is a 5 p.m. Pacific time broadcast every day, usually. And so I'll be here again same time tomorrow. Same time, stand back channel. See you then. Take care. Bye.